I'll show you how to do some basic edits with your photos now in iMovie. So you can see as I scroll over these video, these photos, um, or if I click play, it would look the same, that there's movement on the photos. If I click on the photo, I can see some of my editing options up here. I can crop it. Um, I could change the colors a little bit, um, add effects or filters. I'm going to come to this crop part and so I have Ken Burns selected right now. Your other options would be just to fit or crop to fill. And so if you do fit and the photo isn't the same size as your screen, then there's going to be blank space on the side of your screen. If you do crop to fill, it's going to make it so that this photo fits perfectly inside of your movie, which could be a good thing to do. You probably don't want to do many with just the fit. Or if you come to Ken Burns, you have a starting position and an ending position. So I could... Let's do it like this. I'm going to start um, really big. Like that. And we're going to end right there. Now, when I play the movie, that's the effect that I'll get on my photo. If I want it to take longer, it looks like this is a two second uh, photo. I can drag it. And I could make it, I mean, if I wanted to, I could make it a minute long. So now, over the course of a minute, I don't even know if you can tell, it's going to take a minute to uh, zoom over to that part on my photo that I selected. Uh, that's the basics for photos. You can also add a photo-like thing into a video clip. So here I have this uh, video selected. Say I want to freeze on my niece's face right there. So if I right click and then do add freeze frame, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Then when I play the movie, it'll play as a normal video, and then it gets to that point and it freezes the video, and then continues. And again, I can adjust how long we uh, freeze for a couple seconds, or I could do it for 10 minutes if I wanted to.